Well, this is going to be good. Kamala, and don't forget about Timmy, the wonder child. Stolen valor, saying that AR-15s are the weapons that our military uses. You ever meet a blue-collar guy, and he's a lib, and you're just like, what a amazing person to vote for. Mm. Mm, so good. No? Me neither. These things we hold self-eve ended. Men are mean, and women are men, and huh? What, what's the rest? Uh, whatever. Let's crush all economic growth and destroy any sense of nationality. Whoa, wait a minute. There, that's better. While putting money in our friends' pockets. Because that's why I'm here. I'm a person that has a personality that people have because they're not objects, but people Personally, I love personalities and people, and any person should have that personality. <laughs> Tim is the bumble to her bee. The sight in her eyes and the love in her heart. The peanut to her butter. This match made in hell is brought to you from the DNC. A.K.A. does not care that no one voted for these two morons. So now that the process is played out, from the grassroots bottom up. Bottom up, you say? AOC, my favorite big booty Latina. I'm clapping. You don't have to. <laughs> the party that cries about how Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. <laughs> just forced out the candidate that their voters chose and nominated a candidate that no one voted for, the hypocrisy is immense in the Democratic Party. <laughs> in the land of the free, trust is a casualty. Our democracy, as some would say, even though it was a republic and never a democracy, because that's not how it was supposed to be, because the founders knew that democracy would fail, once a beacon now flickers dimly, shrouded in division and disillusionment. Where's Waldo? No. Where's Timmy? He, he abandoned us, you know. I mean, what the hell kind of leader does that? Shout out Kamala. I love you for getting me this job a year ago when I needed it most. F the managers, f this company, f this position, and f that big lazy bitch Chris Price. I f***ing quit. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> Timmy is an undefeated champion of the Democratic Party hasn't lost an election since 2008 and plans to take Kamala to the moon GME style this November. I guess he thinks that his star personality and amazing jokes. So the president's uh, ban on our transgender brothers and sisters is simply not only the wrong thing to do, it weakens our national security. He will bring the November presidential ticket to the next level. Now, no one really cares about who the VP is, but with such a weak, pathetic frontrunner like Kamala, the Democrats will try anything. I mean, it's almost like they are slapping the American people in the face with a frying pan, then subsequently dragging their unconscious bodies to the polls. Because let's be honest, any person voting for these two, like they are serious contenders for the commander-in-chief and VP, just have personal hatred for Orange Man Trump. And the far left doesn't care about this country. They don't even like it. But this is the times that we are in. The West is being destroyed from the inside, and the political class are playing us like fiddles, as long as we stay fat, stupid, lazy, overburdened with debt and inflation, and constantly swerving to avoid DEI HR cases at our jobs, they know they have us on the ropes. It's a sad reality, and the chances to overcome it are slimming day by day. Anyway, this news is days old, and I haven't made a video about politics since the last cycle, so I figured I'd come on, say my piece, I hope you enjoyed it, and watch your back, fellow Americans.